Let's talk about Harvard researchers claiming that aliens might be living among us, disguised as humans. So the article claims that researchers from Harvard and Montana Technological University are speculating that an unidentified advanced population could be secretly living among us here on Earth. This is Nick Pope. He is the person who ran the British government's project, and he gives us more context. This all comes from a paper that hasn't been peer reviewed yet, so just keep that in mind. The paper suggests that these aliens could be living underground, on the moon, or even walking around disguised as humans. They call this crypto terrestrial hypothesis. According to the paper, traditional theories say UAPs or unidentified aerial phenomenon are either human tech or from other civilizations from outer space. But now they're considering that aliens could be right here on Earth. They have even spotted these orbs exiting and entering places like volcanoes. And sure guys, many scientists are going to remain skeptical. This is what they do. They are always deep skeptics. They need tons and loads of evidence in order to believe something. But the researchers are arguing that this idea does deserve a fair shot. After all, some UAP sightings are just too weird to ignore even like the one me and my husband spotted on our walk, which is right here on my channel, and you can find that. There are even accounts suggesting that Christopher Columbus and his crew observed a UFO during their voyage to America in 1492. According to Columbus's journal, on the night of October 11, 1492, he and several crew members saw a strange light in the distance. The light appeared to move up and down and was described as being like a small wax candle that rose and lifted up. This sighting occurred just before they made landfall in the New World. Now, there are some historians and researchers that have speculated about the nature of, his, of this supposed light, proposing explanations ranging from natural phenomenon to possible indigenous signal fires, but there's no definitive explanation. And this account still remains one of the most intriguing, often referenced in discussions about early UFO sightings. Now, while Nick Pope here calls the paper more of a thought experiment than an actual scientific research, they are not claiming to have found evidence, but want to kickstart a debate both within the public and within the scientific community. Hence why you see more UFO, UAP, alien videos on the internet not getting taken down because I think they believe at this point that the public seems to not really be adverse to the idea that we are not alone. So I think this is not gonna come as a shock to any of you guys because it didn't come as a shock to me that the Pentagon report says that there's no evidence of aliens. Despite the same Pentagon releasing a study examining 80 years of UFO sightings, they say that they found no evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence, and they deny any proof of ET life on Earth. Now, you guys do remember the testimony from David Grush. In July 23rd, 2023, this man, retired from the Air Force, Major David Grush, testified that the U.S. has been hiding a program to collect and reverse engineer UAPs. Now, this is not a shock even to me, as I have seen many videos of people like Bob Lazar and many others come forward saying that Yes, the government has been doing this for a long time. He even mentioned non-human biologics, but the Pentagon denies his claims. Here's the thing for me. The notion of intelligent humans having existed for over 200,000 years, it's astonishing, especially when compared to the mere 5,000 years of our recorded civilization. Now, our recorded human civilization marked the advent of writing systems, which began about 5,000 to 6,000 years ago. The earliest known writing systems is the cuneiform script, which was developed by the Sumerians in ancient Mesopotamia around 3200 BCE. Prior to like written um, documentation, we had no real proof, but the, the proof were passed down through oral traditions rather than written. So many people who are like Native American, they have a different way of communicating what their ancestors saw. I believe that the vast gap has always fascinated me, like the missing link, right? How our species went from this to what we are now with technology and being able to understand things. It's always fascinated me that people think that the word alien just means like you are you believe in a, a green-eyed guy or a tall gray or something ridiculous like a reptilian. Sometimes it means that there's just some civilization out there that 
perhaps moved on <laughs> away from us and is more advanced thinking than us and does not and sees how we operate and doesn't want anything to do with us. Perhaps we are the species with some sort of amnesia. And, you know, we see the remnants of all the advanced civilizations out there through our pyramids and all the things that are out there that was left behind after all these in my op opinion catastrophic events nasa conducted studies on the ocean but then abruptly stopped claiming there was nothing of interest left to explore underwater that decision seemed strange to me given the numerous reports of ufos entering and exiting the ocean this theory might shed some light to me on why the ocean is often considered a deep dark and mysterious place NASA has conducted significant research related to the Earth's oceans, largely through satellite observations and remote sensing technology. Now that research is crucial for understanding climate change, like sea level things, the currents, marine ecosystems, that sort of stuff, and temperatures and wave heights, that sort of stuff. This is critical data for climate research and weather forecasting, but why did they stop looking into, you know, finding out other type of things under the ocean, right? Now, NASA will say that they have not study, stopped studying the oceans, but they continue to integrate, you know, oceanographic research into broader Earth science missions. But this is like one of these things where I feel like, based on our observation, what NASA focuses on, it's one of these things that make us believe that they are trying to distract us. They're trying to divert our attention elsewhere. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm truly curious to know, based on the article, what do you guys think? Are aliens really among us? Or is it all just sci-fi? Or do you feel that th this has been something that we've just ignored? And now the time is here where people are saying, we need to study what's here on land and quit focusing so much on what's up there, you know? So I truly believe that. I believe that there are aliens among us. There are beings among us. However, I don't believe that they're, they look exactly like you and me. I truly believe they do live in other territories here on earth, extra territories, what's called extraterrestrial for reason. And I don't think they want to have any close contact with us. I truly believe that. I believe aliens see us as a contaminant. They see us as unsafe. And I think that they do monitor us because they probably feel that we could damage or we could cause enough harm to reverberate throughout the world, throughout the planets, throughout our solar system, and perhaps even in the universe. So I don't know about you guys' thoughts, but I've done enough you know, research to realize that I, I truly don't believe that we're here alone. And I hope that if there is such a thing as reincarnation, I come back as one of those life forms and not stuck here on this planet with humans. Because sometimes being a human is, is low-key a, a bit of an embarrassment. Anyways, have a great day and think for yourself.